YouTube, what's going on? It's outside Juba, inside right now. Do a little quick video on uh, Ovi Toppin. Um, there's reports saying that Ovi Toppin wants out of the Knicks. He's not happy. Um, he's not happy with his role. Um, I've been saying this since he even got drafted to the Knicks that um, it's not a good fit for him. Um, he made the best out of it, but you know he's realizing like, yo, man, this ain't this ain't really a good fit. Um, I like Obi. Um, I think Obi needs to leave for the betterment of him and um, a team where he could probably start. Um, a team where you know he could get some minutes, you know, a team where he'll get some minutes and in crunch time or towards the end of the game, he'll finish, you know, that type of situation. Um, What's a good, uh, obviously we're going to have to, you know, make a trade. Um, I've been saying this since season just ended that we need a, a better stretch four. Toppin personally is not really a true stretch four like that. He's more of in the paint type dude and a running gun type cat. A team like Golden a, a team like Golden State, a team like Dallas would be good. A team I would say like Phoenix would be good as a backup. Um, there's a few other teams that <clears throat> I think he'll he'll fit and he'll be used right and he'll get some proper minutes. You know, um, is Toppin a starter? I don't know. He, I don't know. He needs another year or two to really earn that, like, yo, this is our guy. So, yeah. It's all about the fit. And he's the type of dude, he needs to play with a point guard, a true point guard. He's one of them type of dudes. Um, I was watching uh, Nick's, um, Nick's TV, shout out to CP. And um, he was saying how, and there was another gentleman too, I see his face, can't put his name. But they were saying how they could trade him to uh, to Indiana, you know, try to get a draft pick um, through the draft. CP said there's a guy, and I just looked him up. Olivier, oh, excuse me. Oh. a guy from Marquette, a wing player. Stretch. He's a wing, but could probably play a little, little, little powerful, a little stretch four. Um. Olivier Maxi Olivier Maxine Prosper or something with a P. Um 68230. That's that's like a stretch that's more of a stretch four personally. You know. Um I think maybe We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how things go Thursday, you know, with the draft, and it's going to be some trades, so we'll see. I personally would rather, where the Knicks is at now, I would rather them get a veteran stretch four and a veteran wing. Um, there's a guy in Indiana, Dominican dude, named uh, Chris Durante, or Durante, whatever, he's a wing. Uh, he's about six 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 seven. He could probably play. He, he could play a little two as well, but um, he's kind of buried in the bench, in Indiana. And I've seen him play. He could ball. He could do that. Come off the bench, give you a little maybe ten to twelve a game. You know, he could shoot slasher, create. He could go in the hole. He could play a little in and out. He needs somebody like that. He's more of a wing. As far as the stretch forward. We'll see. I just got word that what's his name once out of the Clippers and not happy with his role. 
that's uh, one of the uh, Morris twins. I believe that's Marcus Morris. And he once played for the Knicks. And um, the Knicks traded him. The Knicks should have kept him, for real. He was there before, I think, Jewish Mandel got there. So, yeah. But um, I just wanted to uh, touch base on the Obi Toppin situation. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about Obi Toppin. Um, what team you think is a good fit for him? Let me know what's up, all right? It's outside you, but inside. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to share, it's all G. Let me know what's up, though. I'll holler. Peace.